Before you even start, I know you're like, what is wrong with your hair? About to get it braided. So I actually just washed my hair and blew it out. Fresh wash. Decided I'm gonna get some braids in my hair because one, I'm doing, I'm working out more. It's freaking hot. And I just want something else with my hair, so I said either I'm gonna do some knotless braids or some faux locks again. I'm about to go grab something to eat because my appointment was for 3.30, but she called and said, hey, you know, you could come in earlier. And I'm like, what time? She's like, you coming now? I'm like, I'm still asleep. <laughs> I'll be there for one. <laughs> so it's now 11.30. I'm gonna go grab something to eat. I'm not gonna rush, you know. Leave a little early. Start doing that. Leave a little early so you're not rushing to get where you have to go. I have a couple of segments that I'm doing and I'm kind of stuck in between how I want to do it. Um, one, if you've been following me, you know that I've been doing keto. This week makes it a month that I've been doing it. Um, and if you don't know, you should know. You should be following me on Instagram. It's your girl, Cora, on Instagram. Um, I post on my story. I post. It's called Operation Just Do It. And that means, like... When I think I want something, you know, yummy or go off track, I just think, just do it. Just do it. Just follow through. Just do it. And it, it's helped this month. This month, I did have one cheat thing, and that was a Krispy Kreme donut. So in 30 days, 29, 30 days, I cheated once. Um, so I don't know if I want to do like a segment with just my weight loss. Or just have it like in my vlogs, you know. Comment below and see what you think. Because I don't want to draw, you know, people who's not interested in that. But it is still my life. So why would I do separate things when I could just do one? And another segment that I want to do is like the date in life. One moment. Okay, I'm back. What I mean with the date in life is I'm single. I'm in Atlanta. I'm 34. No kids. And I'm dating, you know, meeting people. And I want to record, you know, not record like the date, you know, depending on like the situation, maybe. But I just want to record my experience. Oh, uh, and this is what I use in the morning. We'll see. I just bought this this week. So I want to record, you know, my experiences and just talk about how I met these people, you know, just the dating scene. I don't really see too many people on here doing that, and if so, I just wanna do it with my own. So I don't know if I should have a segment for that too, or just enter in the vlogs and probably put like in a title, like in parentheses, dating, and then weight loss. Just so y'all know, oh, this vlog, she talks about that. You know, I don't know, leave your comment below. Let me know what you think, because today I'm going to talk, I actually talked about the keto, and probably on the way to get my hair done, I'll talk a little bit about my dating experience. Um, yeah. Ah, <sighs> stress. Yeah, but a dating in Atlanta? Y'all yeah, have heard the stories about Atlanta. The guys and the females. The guys... They could be undercover, or it's just so much out there. The females are, you know, ugh, 
and there's so many females so and then the guys want to dibble and dabble and everything or they expect you to be this way or give them some like I'm gonna be raw with my stuff the only thing I'm not gonna mention probably is the names of the people cuz you know they might find me and like he talked about me and your stuff Ooh, I should have got the other one. This is strawberry margarita, and it tastes it tastes like the little strawberry, but then it tastes like a salt, which is like the margarita. So all around the rim, 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 tray. I was like, yo, Trey, do you think you could buy me a bottle of rosé? I am still pissed that I forgot you guys, well, my camera, because I did some footage. But when I went to Jamaica, like, that could have been some bomb-ass footage. I mean, your phone could do but so much. You know, I can't. Um, the only reason why I don't like using a phone is you can't flip it around. Like, once it's recording, there's no button to reverse the camera. So, like, you have to, like, have it this way. And if you're showing something, you got to, like, move it. Like, look. And <laughs> you don't know what your viewers are looking at so that's the only negative thing about having a phone but yeah i wish i would have had it my hair's grown i remember when it was little stubbies because i had cut it like i said i will be back in jamaica october oh y'all need to join me i know this whole coronavirus is going on but i went to jamaica when it opened and I had to take the COVID test to get out of the airport but now the protocols have changed where everybody doesn't have to take the test um, and Jamaica's open it's been open and I, it plans to be open in October in October I have a group going um, my stroke and sip class if you don't know I'm the owner of stroke and sip it is not your average paint and sip where I have a nude male model that my guests draw on. So yeah, I decided to do do something different because I haven't seen no other paint and sip company go away, do an island getaway. So this is our first island getaway to Jamaica. Jamaica with some of my models. It's just gonna be a fun weekend. Like one, everybody Probably everybody needs a vacation this year. It's probably gonna be the only vacation that you take for this year. And it's just, you know, chilling with your models. Just, it's a nice turn up weekend. Not too turned up, but turned up, you know. Check out strokeandsipevent.com for more information. Registration is open. I'll be there. My models will be there. There'll be people from different cities. I have some DJs coming. I have a comedy show, costume party, because it is Halloween weekend. We have a pool party. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun weekend. Thursday to Monday. Oh, it's a chow. Look at this. I was supposed to go to Walmart. Maybe I can go like this. I was supposed to go to Walmart to look up something. Let's talk dating. I started talking to this guy. And he, you know, long story short, he watches what he eats. So in the morning, he makes smoothie. And with this whole crisis going on, a lot of the stores, particularly Walmart, has been out of the bag fruit. So he was just saying, yeah, like, I went food shopping. I can't find a bag fruit. I'm like, I actually think I saw it in my Walmart. So I said, you know, I'll look and see if it's there. And I'll let you know. The Zaxby's was taking too long, so now I'm on the drive through for Burger King. Now it's 12.18, and it takes 30 minutes to get there, so I have a good 10 minutes to eat and be there. Like, I wasn't, I didn't want this for, I didn't want this to happen. Okay, now we're moving. Ugh. My main thing was I don't want to rush, but I am out the house early. It's just these damn drive throughs taking forever. Okay, so since I'm here and I said I was going to talk about dating life. Um, so one of the guys, like I said, the fruit guy, he's, we're going to call him Guyana. Like I said, I'm going to keep it raw with y'all. So what I'm looking for in a man, 
just some of the things is 30s, early 40s, because I'm 34. I'm getting a lot of people in their 20s, 26, 27, 28. And I'm like, nah, I can't do it. You're my sister's age. Like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so that age range, I prefer no kids. But at the age that we're at, you might have one and two. So if you do have a kid, I prefer one. <laughs> and I don't want no, really no babies. Like Guyana, he has one child. The child 16. We could do that. Because it's not like, you know, we ain't gotta babysit. You ain't gotta, you know, find a babysitter. Um, so age, child, single, six feet and above. Six feet and above. Um chocolate passport have to have a passport if you don't have a passport you have to be able to obtain a passport because i like to travel and if you don't have a passport i'm leaving you and that's not a good look why would i leave you here in the states and i'm away enjoying myself no you have to come with me not every trip but majority of the trip sense of humor personality i, I like an alpha male though like, like, built, like, because I'm a big girl, so I want somebody bigger. You know, I like a slim guy, but not too slim and bony. That was me back in the 20s, whatever. Now you got to have, you could be slim, but with muscles. Like, I want to feel protected. Sense of humor, personality, great communication skills. Um, somebody who's ready, somebody who's looking. Not just, oh, I just happened to fall in your lap. No, somebody who's looking, who's ready to. Because a lot of the guys that I found, I am on a dating app. A lot of the guys that I have talked to recently, they say they want something. And then, you know, we talk and then they're not ready. Whatever. Okay, I'm next. Um, Yeah, I'm not too picky, but then I am picky. Like, on the things that I do want, I would say it is picky. Another guy that I talked to, he's like a bachelor. He has a house, he has a great ass job, he has a car, no kids, he's 42. He's new to the Atlanta area, and that's the problem. He's new to the Atlanta area, so therefore he's fishing. He's open to see, which I don't blame him, you know. Atlanta has a lot of females. Yeah, oh. the next tomato, tomato. So he's exploring and he's not ready to not commit but just be one. So, you need your no, thank you. Right. Have a good one. I find him very attractive. He's the alpha male, he has personality, he's an Aries. That's the thing, too. Like, I'm looking for Aries or Leo because I am a Sagittarius. And that's what that goes with us. <laughs> it's not gonna work. And like, I feel like I'm trying to pursue it more than him, which is true. It's not like I'm feeling, it's true. I'm pursuing it more than him. Me, a little bit about me. My last relationship ended um, a little over three years ago. It was like April or May of 2017. Um, yeah. Since then, I you know, I've, after I talked to people. 2018, I met this guy. He hit me up. Was like, he kept it real. I think I said this in one of my vlogs. He didn't say he was in a relationship. He was like, you know, I just I want basically I want sex and I wanted it too so we hooked up and we've been hooking up for the last two years um, now he does have a situation he calls it um, but we still
talk, we still hook up. And I ain't got no no shame. Like, don't try to be negative on me. <laughs> Cause we all know. We're all grown. We all know. You probably cheating. He probably cheating. Whatever. I wasn't trying to get in another relationship back then. I was like, yeah. And it's it was great. It still is great. He's an alpha male. I'm not gonna get into details. But yes, I enjoy myself. I enjoy my time with him. Um, us in a relationship? No. He's a Gemini. No, he's a Taurus. He's a Taurus. And my experiences with Taurus, sexual, all of them have been great. But just don't connect like that. Um, yeah. So yeah, like he's still he's still on the side, you know. Gotta keep separate baskets for your eggs. He's the only egg that I have right now. I don't have like a number of guys I'm dealing with. Like he's the one I contact when I just need to contact him. <laughs> Other than that, other guys that I talk to is just talking. We haven't even really gotten there. We probably go on dates, so that's why I'm doing this too. So just to you know, just show you guys. I was like, hey, why not pick up the camera and show y'all my dating life in Atlanta, not the dating life in Atlanta, because I'm sure there's more stuff going on in my little world. But this is Corey in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but yeah. This is my take on, ooh, I'm doing 84. This is my take on this dating scene in Atlanta, 2020, in my, oh, I can't even say it. In my mid 30s, I can't just say 30s. In my mid 30s. So that's three guys I talked about, Guyana, what am I gonna call the guy? Bachelor. Um, and then the one that I talked to, let's call him Hookup. So we got Guyana, Bachelor, and Hookup. Of course there's other ones, but do I care to mention them yet? Cause it's not even like that. Like the app that I'm on, you know, I exchange numbers. It's a number I could delete you, block you if I want to. I have a lot that I get text messages from, but it hasn't, like, we haven't met up, we haven't went out, so, do I care to mention them like that? No. I'm just enjoying life. Like, yeah, I want more. Hopefully I get more. If it's meant to be, I'll have more. But just stay tuned. Ow! Something else I forgot to mention about my whole dating scene. When I was in Jamaica, um, I did meet a guy, and he was asking, Corey, why are you still single? And I was like, you know, I told him the whole spill. Not the whole spill, but the whole spill. He was, and I was like, I think, you know, guys are, I don't wanna say intimidated, but guys are like intimidated that I have my own business. So he was like, maybe you shouldn't tell them that you know you own a travel agency maybe you should just be like you know you work at Walmart or you know something basically easy and I was like you know what I've never thought about that oh man I've never thought about that like just you know just say that you do regular stuff therefore they don't look at you a certain way so what I did with Guyana I told him that I work for Marriott and he's like, what? Look at God. So he's trying to go to New Orleans for his birthday. And he was like, maybe, you know, I could use your your points. your Not your points, but your stuff. And I was like, hmm, we'll see. So we got to talk and he booked his room. And for some reason, I think he's going to invite me um, to New Orleans. And I'm not going to turn down a trip. Especially if it's all paid for, for by him. 
why not? Oh, I am here. What time is it? Oh, I got here at 12.50. So yeah, he's renting a car. He's staying at the Marriott. He thinks I work for the Marriott. But we're gonna see, cause when he was, he was doing his checkout, I was on the phone and he was like, he was just mentioning like, guest name. He said something about like, cause they ask, oh, they ask, you know, a number of guests and if you have a second guest, what's their name? He's like, if I don't write the guest name, the second guest now, that means you gonna say no when I bring somebody? So he kind of like, I kind of got the hint from there. So we'll see. That's in like two weeks. Um, maybe I'll be going to New Orleans. Never know. We'll see. I keep on saying we'll see. But I am here. I'll see y'all in a few.